What up, tech fans and friends? Welcome to Tech of Tomorrow. I'm Eric, your host, and today we're going to take a look at something very interesting, and we're actually going to take a look at it in a kind of a different way. So what I have here to my left is a complete system by the people over at ASUS. Now, this is their new M-Series, and this is the M51 that we have here. We'll get to the exact nomenclature in a minute, but this thing's going to come to market at about $899, and it's completely built and distributed by ASUS Direct. Now, I have on these glasses on my face right here. These are the Google Glass and my buddy over at TLD today, they actually use these things to unbox some kind of Nexus 7 thing. And he goes, hey, dude, I think it'd be kind of cool. Maybe your users would like it if you guys filmed an unboxing. So today I'm going to film the unboxing of this through the Google Glass. And I'll admit it's a bit odd for me because these guys mainly wear these things without even the lenses. But for me, that was odd. I'm saying put the lenses on and look normal. So let's go. Let's check out what comes inside this box and what this system is all about from the people over at ASUS. All right, folks, so check it out. Here we go, an unboxing through Google Glass. So we're gonna first start off with the box. You guys can see up from the top, it's got their eco box, which is made out of a bunch of recycled stuff. So they're saving the planet by that. We'll just keep moving down. We see desktop PC, obviously the Asus name, but now let's flip it around to the side. Now over here is what's gonna be the most important stuff. I'm gonna try to get up here with the glasses so you guys can see everything. I'll start off right here. I'll slowly scroll my way down where you guys can see all that. And then over here to the other side, you guys can see the Intel nomenclature, the M series, and then we can clearly see what the model number is right there, the M51AC US015S. Now we'll have a bunch of different links to model numbers. I'm not sure if this exact one is hit over on Amazon or anywhere yet, but we'll see there as we go on. So let's flip it around once again. You guys can see it's just the box here, nothing too exciting about that. We'll flip it around the other side, it's just the box. Yeah, 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 there's my address, whoop de doo So let's flip it. Let's turn it to the side here because we're doing this differently, So and this is different for me too. So go ahead and take the knife, make a nice little slit right down the side here. Come around to the side right here again. Make another quick incision down the side. I have to admit that going through these glasses because I'm trying to concentrate is a little different for me. And uh, right there just almost made a boo-boo. We could have had a nice little uh, cut of my finger on the video. That would have been fun, right? Lovely stuff. So make sure I keep that blade away from me as I cut this thing. Pop the cap now. As I pop it, you guys can see inside the box, there is la la another box. Dun, da, da. And this is all the accessories probably. Is there a keyboard? Let's see what's in here. So look down at this thing. Eh, pop a little tab here. Oops. Uh-oh. Made a boo-boo. Ripped the cardboard. Trying to think and do too many things at once. So, okay. Obviously, we'll take that out. I'll just set that box off to the side. We get the Asus keyboard. Let's go ahead and take that completely out of its packaging. It's a wired little keyboard. Nice, easy keys, though, all the way down. They feel really very, very... Uh, Kind of spongy and Mac-like, not exactly like that, but sort of like that. You guys can see right there, clearly the Asus name. Flip it around the back, I'll show you guys the back. Now there's nothing on here to flip this and make the keyboard go to a different angle. I'm not too stoked about that. I like my keyboard at more of an angle, but then again, they're probably just kind of kicking this in with the system. So we'll set that off to the side. You guys can see that. You guys probably got a glimpse of the cameraman and those guys off to the other side as well because they're here working. So let's go ahead and try to gently remove the system. I'm gonna go ahead and just pull it out nice and gently there. And I know that the, I was sent something from my contact. This right here, you guys can see this. This is the Seagate Backup Plus. Um, they want to emphasize that all of the USB connections here can super power charge anything, not just your media devices. They can do anything. So let me just charge any device. It'll work fast. They wanted me to do some testing with this, so I will. So inside the box, folks, you guys can see the padding in there. I've got one more little box right here. Let me set that one out to the side. You guys can see my backyard there. Move the system back. Kind of interesting doing something different here today. So it's uh, all interesting for us all. So let's pop this open right here. We have the power plug. You guys can clearly see the old power plug right there. Right up in my Google Glass face. Next up, we have the mouse. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Bring that up to the old Google Glass. Of um, my face. It's kind of really weird. I mean, I guess this could traditionally or, you know, untraditionally prove to be very cool. I'll go over here so you don't keep seeing my cameraman. And uh, 
that's the mouse. We got that. Then we have an additional power cable here. I guess this is if you want to put another video card in your system, or it's possibly for one there. I wouldn't think that since it's a 650 Ti. So here's a system. Now this system features an the new core i7 4770K has eight gigabytes of DDR3 1600 memory, 8x combo reader, 650 Ti video card, supercharging abilities, Wi-Fi, and everything else. So let's just take a look at the elegance of the system itself. So I'm going to start off here at the front. I'll slowly work my way down. You guys can see it all looks very smooth. You got USB 3.0, standard USB, headphone, mic, everything up here on top. All your bays right here open up. You have all multi-card readers and all that stuff here in the front. And you can see there's card readers for every different type here. So you don't have to worry about buying any kind of external unit. So for work and productivity, that's really good stuff. Keep moving down, flipping these little bays. Oops. Next bay, please. Let's see here. Ah, there we go. So inside of there, you guys can see the Blu-ray combo drive. You guys can see all that. I can see it. I hope you guys can see it. It's inside there. Then this last bay right here is just an extra bay where you guys can stick it. I don't know if you guys can actually see inside of there, but deep inside of the case, there's actually SATA connections. So you could probably mount inside of here an SSD or some other type of device and just have that sitting right there looking nice and pretty. Beautiful all the way down. It actually feels nice and smooth and it's very clean looking. So let's just flip it around, take a look at the side. We just have their nomenclature of their name. And we'll flip it all the way to the side so you guys can see it better through the Google Glass. Down here at the bottom, you guys can see we have Enjoy Efficiency, World Class Quality, number one in reliability, designed for power, media, performance with style, the Essentio PC. Hmm, comes with Windows 8. I didn't know they were calling it the Essentio PC. That wasn't actually any of the nomenclature I read, but hey, what the heck. So let's take a look at the rear. You guys can see the power supply is up here. Cable plugs in here. Rear I.O. Got all the different type of connections that you need right there. And if you want to use onboard video, you have that. You can use that actually in conjunction with the video card. Let's flip it around to the side. All right, folks, now I have a trusty screwdriver in my hand. So I'm going to go ahead down here. You guys can see I'll go ahead and just remove this first screw. Nice and simply. We'll set that off to the side. Move up here to the top screw. Go ahead and take that one off as well. And now let's see inside the M51. Dun, 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 dun. Kaboom. Now check it out. Cable management's nice and simple. You do get a two terabyte SATA 3 hard drive. You guys can see it's a very small motherboard. You guys can see the memory right there. 8 gigabytes of DDR3 memory. Cable management's okay in here. There's no blocking of the airflow or anything, so it's going to be okay. You guys can see they've just got your typical fan on there. Here's your video card. They actually have a support thing down here. This is great, folks, actually. You might not think there's anything, but when this computer ships, video cards can move around with this inside of here. Protects the video card from shipping around. If you're a person who moves around a lot and you move your system around a lot, you're going to appreciate that feature. So last, let me just take a look at the very top of the system for you folks. Here's the very top. It's nice and smooth and elegant. It's got designed plastic in there. It looks elegant. This thing does have clean looks, clean design. I'd have to actually break down, you know, all the parts, get the motherboard number and break it all down to, you know, see what it was worth. But at the end of the day, I think this is probably going to be a pretty cool unit for people out there who like to have their systems pre-built. We're going to now bring it into the test lab. I'm going to have Captain Kevy run some tests on it, do some games on it so you guys can see that footage as well. And then we'll see if this system is actually worth, you know, the close to $900 that they're asking for it. Some of the features, like I said before, will be the really powerful USB charging. They really want me to emphasize that to you folks. This thing's really got great Wi-Fi in it and great charging abilities, as long as a lot of the other parts inside the system that you guys know and love. So I'm Elric here on Tech of Tomorrow, bringing you guys my first Google Google Glass unboxing. And thanks to Jonathan, to TLD and his team for lending me these Google Glasses things to do this all for you folks. Now, like usual, down there below the like button, which I know you guys are going to hit as powerfully as you can. 
not mind, not mind blastly. You actually have to physically push, you know, to do it. So no mind stuff. It just is not working. If you're not subbed, make sure you hit this little button back here behind me where you can sub the channel and not miss out on any of the stuff going on here. We always have giveaways and all kinds of cool stuff for you folks like this. So we'll see you later. I'm Eric and peace out.